Kakatoa. Lord, I was born a rambling man. And it's a good thing because this gig requires me to be on the road a lot. That's right. I hit the lonely old highway and wander from town to town asking people questions. Then I hitch a ride back to Hollywood where I challenge two contestants to predict who had a point and who just rambled on. And here are our contestants. Hello, Christian. What's up, Christian? But look out for Tiffany. She's a crazy one. Remember, guys, there is no ribbon except the blue one on this show, so I suggest you try to be the one who wins. Now, let's meet our three Rhodes Scholars. First, Tommy revealed how having a lot of kids can cause memory loss. So, Tommy, where are you from? Las Vegas, Nevada. So, do you have a girlfriend right now, or? Well, I'm off and on on girls. Right. Yeah, I got five kids by all different women. Oh, really? Yeah. What are your five kids' names? You want to say hi to them? Oh, we got Alex, uh, Peter, uh, Sandra, and who's the other one I just had? Tamika. Tamika. Okay. There's one more left. I that was that name. was five, wasn't it? Was that, that four? Was four? Oh. Maria. <laughs> and Sarah told me about her encounter with the coolest man in Milwaukee. So Sarah, where are you from? Um, I go to school in Austin. Where's oh Austin, Texas? Yeah. So tell us who you saw walking down the street one day. Um, Henry Winkler. You saw Fonzie? Yeah. So, Sarah, how cool is this? The, the dancing waters are behind us. This is cool. And you haven't even seen him yet, have you? No, I okay, haven't. You remember, you have to look right at the camera. I'm looking at the camera. Oh, check that out, no. man. No? Oh, that is so in sync with the music. Oh, damn! Okay, go ahead. No, don't! <laughs> Finally, Esperanza explained her carnivorous career. So, Esperanza, where are you from? Originally from California. So what do you do for a living? I am a meat wrapper. You wrap meat? Correct. Explain this to me. I, they, the meat cutters tray it up and I wrap it. So you played keyboards in a Christian band for like six years? Yes, I was. I played, I'm a musician. You're a musician. You play keyboards? Correct. Well, tell us about you just got engaged. I just got engaged. My boyfriend asked me to marry him a year ago. Okay. And I said yes. Oh, that nice. All right, it's time to find out who's been hitting the books in our first round. Who knew it? All right, stay fresh, all three. You guys have to figure out who got it right. Locking the choice, the correct guess earned you 100 bucks. Here we go. First question I asked to Tommy, Sarah, and Esperanza. The Depp Company makes products for what part of the body? The Depp Company. So who knew it, guys? Was it Tommy, Sarah, or Esperanza? Who knew it? Lock in as quickly as you can. I'll give you 100 bucks if you are right. And you're both locked in. You both think it's Sarah. Tiffany, you think she's the one, huh? Yes, I do. She just sort of seems like she's got it together. She might know. Okay, Christian, you agree with this? On, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I don't know. Tommy doesn't look too... Yeah. Okay, so we're going with Sarah. <laughs> like. The Depp Company makes products for what part of the body? Hair. It is hair. Do you use Depp products? <laughs> no. That's the right answer. Way to go, guys. You both get 100 bucks. Sarah didn't know the answer. But just for fun, let's check and see what Tommy said on that. The Depp Company makes products for what part of the body? <laughs> the toes. The toes. Yeah. What does it do? Man, they got to go down to the toes and dip them corns and um, toe jam out of them. Ah, thanks for make, making that picture sing, Tommy. All right, here's the next question, guys. What do you call a door in a fence? <clears throat> what do you call a door in a fence? Which one of these guys knew it? Tommy, Sarah, or Esperanza? What do you think? Lock it as quick as you can. And go for it, Christian. All right, you're both locked in. You think Sarah again, Tiffany. You think yes, she's I the did. one. She'll get this for you? I do. I think you know, she's getting it right in the beginning. Okay. Bring it on home, girlfriend. <laughs> what do you call a door in a fence? A door fence. Gate. Oh. That's a wrong answer, oh. Tiffany. I'm sorry. Now, Christian, you think Esperanza knows, huh? She, she looks like a professional. Okay. <laughs> professional Ooh. door and fence yeah. user. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah. What do you call a door in a fence? A door in a fence? A gate. <laughs> you see? I used to be a fence. I used to work for a fence company. That's a right answer. Way to go, Christian. Go. 100 bucks for you. You're perfect. Up to 200. One more question in this round. If the police put out an APB, they have issued an all what bulletin? Uh, so what do you think? An all what bulletin? Who could fill in that blank for me? Was it Tommy, Sarah, or Esperanza? All right, locking in. Christian looking for the perfect score. Well, you're both locked in with Tommy. Yeah. Why are you giggling, Tiffany? Why? <laughs> well, he looks like he might have, you know, maybe had one. Oh, let's take a look. <laughs> if the police put out an APB, they have issued an all blank bulletin. 
Man, they better not come look for me, because that'd be an all-points bulletin. Very good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm gone. <laughs> That's a right answer. Way to go. You both have time. Each get 100 yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. Before we go to break, let's see what Esperanza said in this one for gigs. If the police put out an APB, they've issued an all-what bulletin? All-police district bulletin. Police bulletin. Right. It is. It's all-points bulletin. Oh. I know this because I've had two put out on me. Oh, no. You know what, it was, what I was arrested for? What for? Breaking hearts. Aw, Frank. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. All right, here comes you. Coach Tiffany. You got 200 bucks. But Yay! Christian, a perfect three for three. Three of those. You know, I'm sure it's much. APB means a perfect balance of laughs and more loot. Because each question is worth $200 next when we come back. Stick around. Where would you find your bicuspid? On your arm. On your arm, show me your bicuspid. Let's see it. All right, yeah! See that bucket? Grit those teeth! Grit those teeth! Let me see that bicuspid! <laughs> Was that right? <laughs> Welcome back to Street Sports. Let's say hello to our players. We're on fire. A couple of good totals so far. We have Christian. He's from Offenbach, Germany. He's a restaurant manager now. Tell me about this one time you got invited to a bar mitzvah. Yeah, my old neighbor uh, invited me to a bar mitzvah. I've never been to one, so I got, you know, dressed up, even brought some flowers. I get to the house. Uh -huh. She opens the door, and all of a sudden, there are, like, two old ladies and a pet, you know, dressed up with a party hat. Uh, the bar mitzvah was for a dog. For a dog? Oh, oh yes. Spot Cohen. I know him. Good people. Anyway. Okay. I thought one I had to go. <laughs> exactly. Had All right, we have the lovely Tiffany from Sacramento. She's a student. Now, Tiffany, one time there were two guys hitting on you, and what happened? Yes, okay, so me and my girlfriend, we put some stuff in our trunk. These two guys came up, they started hitting us. We're in our type, so we sort of blew them off. We left, we came back. All of our stuff was gone. Your, dress, your clothes yes. and everything? Yes, come to find oh, out they're more interested in our clothes and makeup than they were That's in right. Us. Me and my buddy had a I good mean, time that night on the town. <laughs> using your stuff, yeah. <laughs> Just on weekends. <laughs> All right, let's recap the scores. Tiffany, you got 200 bucks. Yeah! You're doing great. But Christian, $300 is doing even better. That's right. It's time to find out who's been tuning in and who's been dropping out in our second round. Who blew it? I asked the same question with two people at a time. You guys have to tell me who got it wrong. We're looking for the wrong answers right, here. Yeah. Locking your choice. Craig Kessler, did you $200? Yes. yes. Plus, yeah. there's the Dunce yeah. Comedy, comedy right there. The Dunce Cap. You can only use it once this round. When you think your opponent doesn't know the answer, you buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, oh, you get that 200 bucks. But if they're right, they get the $200. Oh, yeah. The cap can turn on you faster than a tuna salad in July. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, here's the first question I asked both Tammy and Tommy and Sarah. Lancelot was one of the famous knights of the what? So, oh no! <laughs> Tiffany, I'm gonna read the question for you. You'll have five seconds to answer it. $200 on the line. If you get this right, you'll take the lead. Lancelot was one of the famous knights of the what? The round table? Right answer, Tiffany! Lock the dunce! Tiffany, oh no! All right, so you get the 200 bucks. Throw that cap on Christian. Now, the task at hand, guys, tell me who blew it up here. Was it Tommy or Sarah? There you go, Christian. So, what do you think? Who blew it? Lock in as quickly as you can for $200. Tiffany is now in the lead. All right, you're both locked in. All right, we got a split decision here. You think it's Sarah, huh, Christian? Yes. Yes. Okay. I, mean, I, I don't even have. Okay, <laughs> let's take a look. <laughs> Lancelot was one of the famous knights of the what? The Round Table. Very good. That's the right answer, Christian. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tiffany, you're hot all of a sudden. Woo! Tommy got that wrong. Check it out. Lancelot was one of the famous knights of the what? Shining armor. Knights of the shining armor. I'll be your knight in shining armor. Emotional. <laughs> oh, I did. That's the wrong answer. Way to go, Tiffany. 600 bucks now for you. Double Christian's total. And I promise, America, I'll never do Mick Jagger again. All right. I, no, I can't guarantee that. All right, here. Here's the next question I asked to Sarah and Esperanza. Finish the title of this Louis Armstrong favorite. What a blank world. So who blew it? Looking for the wrong answer. Sarah or Esperanza blew this one? All right, and you're both locked in here. Let's see, you think Sarah this time, huh, Christian? She looks a little bit too young for that. Okay, you good know? strategy. Yeah. I agree. Let's see if it works. Finish the title of this Louis Armstrong favorite. What a blank world. What a wonderful world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a bad impression. That was a bad impression. You can say it, it sucked. It was really bad. <laughs> she got that one right, Christian. I'm sorry, it looks like Esperanza blew it for Yay! Tiffany. Hey. Finish the title of this Louis Armstrong favorite, What a Blank World. 
beautiful world. You sing too, so you sing? Yes. No. That's a wrong answer, way to go, Tiffany. You're on fire this round, you're up to $800. It's I do promise change. this, America, it's no more change. Louis Armstrong. Okay, here's the question, last one of the round, I asked to Tommy and Esperanza. Come on, Christian, she's, she's pulling ahead on you. I need the money. Okay, I oh, asked bro. both of them, spell breakfast. Oh. Spell breakfast. Who blew it, Tommy or Esperanza? What do you think? A lot of giggles on this one. All right, log in, guys. All right, Tiffany. And you're both locked in. All right, let's see. You think Esperanza blew it, huh, Tiffany? Mm -hmm, and Christian went with Tommy. All right, let's check in with Esperanza first for Tiffany. See if she blew it. Spell breakfast. B-R-E-A-K-A-S-T. Breakfast. Oh, that's an F in there. See, that's why there's a, a red X over what you spelled there. Okay. That's a wrong answer. Way to go, Tiffany Christian. Tommy got it right, man. Check it out. Tommy, spell breakfast. B R E A K F A S T. That's right. Breakfast. Eh? What'd you have for breakfast this morning? A uh, Miller's. <laughs> <laughs> that would be beer. I'm sorry, Christian. You got that one right. You kind of got stuck in the mud on that one. You have 300 bucks right now, but Tiffany had a hot round of thousand. Stick around for a Valentine with three hundred dollar questions when Street Smart returns. I'll be here. Welcome back. Make sure the sarsaparilla is chilled because it's time to pick your pony. Each of our players will pick a person for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. Now, correct predictions worth three hundred dollars this round, you guys. The dust count is back. It's worth three hundred bucks. You can only use it once. Recap of the scores. Chris has got three hundred bucks. Tiffany, a thousand dollars. The player trailing chooses first. Christian, that's you. So, who would you like to saddle, buddy? Uh, I'm gonna go for Tommy. Going with Tommy. All right, Tommy boy. How about you, Tiffany? I'm going for Esperanza. Esperanza. All right, we'll see Sarah hopefully in the way of your death. She was very funny, also. But you guys made two good choices. Christian, first question to Tommy. During what Jewish holiday do you light a menorah and spin a dreidel? Oh, Tiffany got it first. <laughs> Tiffany, I'm gonna read the question again to Christian. You have, you have uh, five seconds to answer this question. <clears throat> During what Jewish holiday do you light a menorah and spin a dreidel? Hanukkah. That's a right answer. All right, way to go. Um, Tiffany, didn't you hear a story? It was about a, a, a bar mitzvah. He probably knows his Jewish. <laughs> He's from Germany. Uh, okay, Christian, so what do you think? Do you think Tommy got it right or wrong? Um, oh my God. He's not too bright, but I'm gonna say he got it punch, wrong. Punch it, well you gotta lock in there officially. All right, let's check it out. During what Jewish holiday do you light a menorah and spin a dreidel? Hanukkah. There you go, Hanukkah. Good. But we can't say happy Hanukkah, we gotta say happy holidays. Right, yeah, that way, yeah, that exactly. way everybody get a grill. He got that right, Christian. I'm sorry, but at least you made 300 off the dunce. Thank you're God. only trailing by Thank 400 God. bucks, so Very you're good. off to a good Very start. Good. Uh, now, Tiffany, for the next question, I showed Esperanza this card, and I asked her to use this word correctly in a sentence. What do you think, Tiffany? Do you think she could? No, I, I think she probably got it wrong. You think she got it wrong? All right, let's see if we can get you 300 bucks. Use this word correctly in a sentence. I am not having marital problems. Right. Well, it's because you're not married. Right, well, I... Used it in a sentence. Okay. <laughs> she got that right, Tiffany. All right, yeah, they threw a couple curveballs right. at you guys here. So uh, let's move on to the next question for Christian to Tommy. Okay. Julia Stiles was the star of the popular teen romance movie Save the Last What? What do you think, Christian? You think Tommy got it right or wrong? Um, I don't think he's going to go to the movies, really. Okay. I think he's got it wrong. All right, let's find out. See if we can get you 300 bucks, Christian. Julia Stiles was the star of the popular teen romance movie Save the Last What? Save the last beer. Save the last beer? Yeah. I was like, hey, you know, don't, you know, bogart all the beer. No, I said bear. Oh, bear. Uh-huh. <laughs> he got it wrong. Either way, he got it wrong. Way to go, Christian. Makes you up to $900. You're within 100 bucks now. All right, Tiffany, Christian's putting the heat up. Here's your next question, Esperanza. Okay. Oh, the correct answer is Save the Last Dance. Yeah. Yes, of course. DVD. Like, hello. <laughs> According to the ad, what does Almond Joy got that Mounds don't? Ooh, okay. I think she got it right because she looks like she might little chocolate bars. Okay, and all lock that, that in there. Well, come, come on, on with that. Ad. Everyone knows the chocolate. According to the ad, what does Almond Joy got that Mounds don't? 
nuts. But Joy's got nuts, Mouse Cat. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Boom, boom. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> she got it right. Way to go, Timmy. That's 300 bucks. That takes you up to 1,300. All right, you each have one more question before the wager of death. Tiffany's got 13. Christian's got 900. <laughs> question to Tommy. Finish this daylight savings phrase. Spring forward, fall. Hmm. What do you think? Think he could do it? Yes or no, Christian? Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Yes, he can do it. All right, see so if we can take you up to 1,200 bucks. Finish this daylight savings phrase. Spring forward, fall. Winter! There you go. There we go. After, after fall is winter. And, you know, in Vegas, you don't get much of a winter here. No, you get snow every four years. Every four years? Every four so years. So it's been uh, back a while since we had snow. Yeah. He got that one wrong, Christian. I'm sorry, the correct answer. I want his phone number. Fall back. <laughs> <laughs> God. Now, Tiffany, last one of the round here. Okay. Uh, you're up by 400 bucks. You can increase your lead. I asked Esperanza, who suffers from empty nest syndrome? Ooh, I think she got that one wrong. You I really do? do? Okay, mm -hmm. we'll lock that in there, I Tiffany. I like she might have some family. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> who suffers from empty nest syndrome? Birds. Birds do? Yeah, when, yeah. when they're lonely, they suffer from empty beds. But the mom's got to go out and get the, get the worms. Yeah, but they're lonely when the mom leaves. I know. So they should just like watch TV or something. Right. That's the wrong answer. Way to go, Tiffany. Correct answer. Parents whose kids leave home is the correct answer. All right, recap the score. Christian, 900 bucks. <laughs> Tiffany, $1,600. Wow. When we return, Christian and Tiffany will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Tommy, Sarah, and Esperanza. I asked them, who is Snuffleupagus' best friend? And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver, for no mere mortal can resist. The wager of death. <laughs> Now, during the break, you both secretly chose a person, predicted if they would be right or wrong, and then you made a wager not to exceed your total. Recap of the scores, Christian had an early lead, and he's up to 900 bucks. The Tiffany with a little comeback, $1,600. I've been this excited since Road Trip came out on DVD with commentary. All right, here's a question I asked Tommy, Sarah, and Esperanza. Who is Snuffleupagus' best friend? Let's get your choices. Christian, you got 900 bucks looking to win this game, so whose clip do you want to see? Um, Tommy's my man. You're going with Tommy. Tommy you like Tommy? Lock in there. <laughs> Tiffany, you got the lead, so who do you want to see? I chose Sarah. Oh, okay. You went with uh, yeah. Sarah? That means nobody chose Esperanza. She was great, and good luck with the marriage. Really, really nice lady. All right, so Christian, we're going to start with Tommy's clip, see if we can uh, have you take the lead. Let's find out. Who is Snuffleupagus's best friend? The dwarf. Okay, that's a wrong answer. Christian, you went with Tommy. He got it wrong. Push that button. Tell me what you said. You said he would get it wrong. All right. You have $900. How much did you wager of that 900, Christian? He wagered all of it. $1,600. He's got the lead. Tiffany, the heat's on. Let's see what Sarah says. Who is Snuffleupagus' best friend? Winnie the Pooh. Oh, man. Okay, that's a wrong answer. Correct answer is Big Bird. Big Bird. We also would have accepted mine. All right, now, Tiffany, <laughs> you went with Sarah. She got that question wrong. What did you say? I said she was going to get it. Right. Oh, oh, Tiffany, how much did you wager? 1,600 bucks. You wagered 500 bucks. Bust you down to 11, right? It doesn't really matter because Christian just Woo! won. 1,800 dollars. He's our winner. Hey, what did we learn today? It's the Knights of the Round Table, not the Knights of Shining Ama. Woo! Okay, that was the last one. Who is Snuffleupagus's best friend? Nephilim, best friend was um, uh, Big Bird. 